So today we're going to talk about upcoming empire building strategy games. You can call them Grand Strategy or 4X. Um, you know, have a kingdom, have an empire, have a society, and, and build it up sort of like grand scale. And there's a whole bunch of them coming out, and I thought we'd talk about some of the ones coming out. And uh, the first one on my list here is one coming out here in three weeks, and that is Millennia by C Prompt Games and published by Paradox. This is very, uh, um, you know, civilization style. A lot of these are going to be civilization style. You're going to see a lot of hexes uh, today. Um, this one, if, if you would compare it to the civilizations of old, I would say more like a, like a civilization call to power probably is where this one fits in closest. Um, where it starts out, you know, 10,000 years of history and all that. Start out with like Stone Age and, and nomads and, and, and all that kind of stuff and work your way up into like a society. It seemed to do like... It seemed to it has some interesting twists to the like um, to the, the the civilization formula where um, the way the eras work are uh, are unique and rather than like creating just an archer and sort of marching him across the map, you can do that. But you also sort of make war bands and march them uh, over the map. But um, anyway, this is coming out March twenty sixth, twenty twenty four here, um, and there's some of the war band stuff and giant robots as well. Um, but over here, I'll have links to all the stuff down below. I forgot last time to put in, because um, I've done like demos and played these before. Um, I've played this one, as a matter of fact. I'll put links, on, when this goes to YouTube, I'll put links in the description of, of the videos I have about these if you want to see more of, of this, of the demos that I have. None of these are out yet, but I've got some, there's some demos on some of these things. So, anyway, there's Millennia coming out March 26th. Next one on my list is The Ancients. This one is um, is much more of like a Stone Age or prehistoric sort of setting. Look at them hexes. Uh, Ice Age era. Where we're going to have a, a, a society, a primitive society. And rather than like, rather than build a, a kingdom or an empire, we're just a nomadic tribe. And through the through the eras, as time goes on, uh, we start setting up camps, and and then packing the camp up and moving to the next place, and sort of trying to survive whatever is thrown at us. Uh, this is by Guerrilla Softworks and published by Camlin Games, coming out quarter two of this year. Um, I do have a demo of this one as well, and uh, and yeah, it focuses on rather than than building a, a kingdom, an empire, whatever. You you focus on your tribe, and and, and sort of a nomadic style of of a civ type game rather than sitting down and getting getting text to like build a city you are getting text to uh harvest animals better or or build better tents and i th and i think i believe by the end you end up having more permanent settlements but for the most the at least the early part of the game it's a nomadic thing which is a little interesting so there's the ancients coming out quarter two next up we have Alliance of the Sacred Sons. This one is probably best described by Cat Hawk Studios, published by Hooded Horse. Don't let me forget to say that. Um, this is best described probably as a Crusader Kings in space, or Crusader Kings meets Master of Orion, where um, it, it puts you like on the throne. So rather than moving yourself a bunch across a bunch of hexes, um, you're like taking in. Um, uh, uh, folks are coming, um, come and chat with you, dealing with the diplomacy, dealing with the family, and dealing with like your legacy and and who is in charge of of this empire. So really, uh, if you're familiar with Crusader Kings, it's a Crusader Kings in space um, thing. And there you go, you can kind of you you set up, you set up your cabinets and um, and all of your all your diplomats and all that kind of stuff, and sort of focus from the uh, from the throne out. I suppose would be the uh, the way this one seems to be focused. And coming out 2024, sometime. We have Ultimate General American Revolution. This is by Game Labs. Developed and published by Game Labs. Sandbox strategy game featuring the epic historical period during the rebellion of the American uh, colonies. So um, this one is a little less like empire building and more, I guess, more leans on the war game part of the uh, of the genre hey sal thanks for the raid um where but but the reason this is on my list is because you've got multiple cities and you're going to command these or, or 
focus these cities, build up your cities, and then go into the like, tactical uh, battles map like it's showing there right now. Um, so it's it's got that sort of that four X where you're managing the town and going out and setting out the um, sending out the armies. Maybe be a lot of ex exploration in there. But um, this is this is from the Amer uh, Ultimate General folks who have made a few other ones in the past. They made a Civil War one and they made a uh, I forget what the other ones are. I, I think I've played the Civil War one. Um, but that sort of that sort of war game style thing. Big over map and then you go into the battles, which lo loads and loads of units on the map, battling it out over there. Yeah, throw some tea in the harbor, you know, all that all that good stuff. So yeah, and there's there's uh, there you go. There's better better screenshots of the thing. Um, I thought it looks pretty good from the uh, from that. That is what I, I find interesting. Heart of the Machine. Heart of the Machine is by Arson Games and published by Hooded Horse, a name we'll probably hear a few times here. This one is also a little different, where rather than like building up a um, uh, an empire, you are a sentient AI, and and like this is so. There's this sort of this game playing out. This the the town is playing out. With all the different folks in charge or whatever. But you are a sentient AI born in this city filled with unsuspecting humans. Humans. Um, what do you do? That's that's the game. Do you raise an army of mechs and wipe out humanity? Do you become a benevolent machine overlord? Uh, and it, it seems like that seems to be the focus of this as a very open-ended kind of a thing. Um, humans. Humans, exactly. Where... Lives are sort of playing out. Companies and corporations are being formed. Do you interfere? We're going to do something because otherwise it's going to be kind of a boring game. You, you, what do you do in the game, and, and how do you rule the city uh, rather than than an empire? I suppose on this one, the world is your playground is sort of the the, the title card here. But anyway, this is uh, this is Arson Games and Hooded Horse coming out 2024. Yeah, Hooded Horse is Hooded Horse always has all kinds of stuff that they are publishing coming out all right next up is one of the ones i'm looking f most forward to i would say um not that one we want to play that video uh aura history untold this is a, a, a um not a hex base but it is a simultaneous turn-based empire building civilization type thing by oxide games and published by xbox xbox game studios Instead of being hex-based, it is sort of like a province-based thing, and so your town's going to build out, starting from... Uh, actually, I don't know how far back it goes. Stone Age, I think it says somewhere in here. Um, and slowly working your way up. Um, and it, has a, it has a big focus on um, the influential figures that are going to be in your, um, in your, your empire, and, uh, and also this like living world. And so as you build up the, the place, the, there's like animals running around and, and the way that the land changes and affects how you how you build your nation. It seems to be the focus on on this thing. Um, they mentioned in the video something about a crafting system, which I don't quite didn't quite understand how that's going to work in a game like this. But I'm interested to see. I'm always up for something different. And this one this one certainly looks good. Uh, but anyway, this is coming out 2024. Uh, that's all we have for a, for a a, uh, a date on this one. Yeah, it has a, has a I like I like I like the look as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And so so you you build your sort of city or empire, and but it, it does go into that RTS Total War look whenever he goes into the battles as well. Seems to be a, a trend where it will have we'll see here today. This one's called Aura History Untold. And I'll have links, of course, for all this stuff on the YouTube page. YouTube video, I'll have links down in the description for all these things. And some of these screenshots look pretty good. Look at that. I, li I like that. I like that look. Good stuff. And then you can see, you can kind of see the different provinces that you're that you're focusing here. Rather than doing hexes on this one, you're, you're building all the different provinces up. And marching across the world. From basically nothing up to, uh, I think, like... Maybe future tech? Way up there. Zephon or Zephon. Zephon? Uh, this is from the, the developers of Warhammer 40k Gladius. And if you've played Warhammer 40k Gladius, then you, you kind of get an idea what this one's going to look like. Post-apocalyptic 4X strategy game by Proxy Studios 
uh, this one's emphasis is on the post-apocalyptic part of it, where humanity's like done for, and so you're just sort of like trying to survive in this terrible, terrible place. Not only is there sentient machines, but there's like mutants running around the world, and um, you're trying to build a, an empire in that in that setting. And you have all, yeah, you have all these different factions in the game that you're trying to deal with as well. Elder Tours, unexpected disasters, cyberpunk monstrosities. Those are the ones it mentions here on the uh, on the old Steam page. Um, one of the reviews is talking about Civ, Civ 6's strategy and Frostpunk's brutal, brutal vision of the apocalypse. So yeah, that's, that's sort of, if that gives you an idea if you're familiar with those games, that probably sums it up pretty well. Things are terrible. Build an empire. Future sci-fi. That's sort of a uh, sort of a setting there. And hex-based. Get a lot of those today. Exterminate packs of mutant animals and collect caches full of rewards. There you go. There is Zaphon, Fragile Existence. Okay, so this one, this one's by Fragile Continuum and published by Hooded Horse. Uh, in the in the Empire Building strategy game genre that this is supposed to be, this is more on like the RTS side of things, where, um, well, real time strategy style. Where, where we're going to be conquering planets, as well as sending out spaceships out and fighting in space. Um, this one's coming out sometime 2024, doesn't have a date, but um, the setting is humanity's basically done for, and we've got one fleet of ships left. We send it out and try to survive in this fragile existence. <laughs> um, scout ahead from system to system, find different things, and settle um, as best you can in an RTS kind of base building sort of uh, setting here. Battling for resources. Pacify planets one way or another. Resist extinction. And mod support. A full-fledged planet editor, which I'm interested in. I don't know how... I was trying to look up some things, and it seems like a lot of these, these screenshots and a lot of the focus of this seems to be, like, on a planet or around a planet. Um, but I think it's, like, a proper space um, game where we'd be fighting out in space as well. And you can see there's a couple spots there where it shows a bit of this um, in, not that one, but this one here. And so you've got like different regions on the planets as well as like, you can build your base like on the planet, but you also are above the planet. And I think in multiple planets. Yeah, and in space. There you go. So anyway, that is Fragile Existence coming out this year. Fragile Continuum and Hooded Horse. All right, so we're going to Mystical Conquests by Pierre Champon and Mormware. This is a turn-based strategy RPG. Lead a group of survivors. This is that uh, overworld style, build towns, and then once you go into battle, you go into this sort of tech, uh, sort of hex-based, turn-based combat. Uh, I did play a demo of this one. Uh, this is coming out sometime this year. There is a demo still available out there uh, in that sort of Heroes of Might and Magic style where you build your army up, you've got a, you've got a hero, you get that hero which has a bunch of art of other soldiers with him, and you sort of march around the map. Um, it, something a little different, though, is you are also building, as you build your town, and you are slowly building out roads and things from that town, expanding your, your settlements. And then when you go into battle mode, you go into that um, hex-based, turn-based battle mode. And, and, and all, all in a fantasy, fantasy style. I don't know if I've spent fantasy. Fantasy style. Turn-based strategy RPG, fantasy style. The forces of evil are trying to destroy every civilization. Expand your realm, learn new technologies, train your soldiers, fight enemy hordes, save the world. A mix of Heroes of Might and Magic and Civ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good a good uh, sum up. Hello, Draven. Oh, there you go. So from, from Mystical Con Conquest, I took inspiration from the original XCOM and its reboot. Civilization series, Age of Wonders series, Final Fantasy Tactics, Into the Breach, and lots of other games. That's just the whole list. There you go. There is uh, um, Mystical Conquests. Up next, another one that has a demo out right now is Small Kingdoms by Bad Logic Studios. This one leads in that um, that RTS leaning um, where. You're going to have different kingdoms on the map. And you're not necessarily going out and settling these kingdoms, but you're building these kingdoms. You're building lumber mills and, and barracks and all that in these towns. Uh, but most of the gameplay is, is in raising armies and then sending those armies out into this very large-scale RTS 
castle conquering combat. Rule a small fantasy kingdom, conquer your rivals, build up cities, build up armies, storm across the world here. Um, there's only one, I think there's only one, um, uh, what I'm trying to say, one like, like cam campaign in the, the demo, which I've dabbled with a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, kind of a quick paced sort of thing. Build up your town, you've already got your town, build your town up, add, add uh, uh, buildings, build it up, send your armies out. And the, all the combat, all the most of the gameplay is focused around that that combat stuff. Anyway, coming out quarter two of 2024. Uh, let's see, there's some more pictures for you. Pictures. So the, and it goes into the the the, the uh, combat. So there you go. So you got your towns, build your units, send them off onto the map, conquer castles. That's about it. It's Imperial ambitions. This is a Renaissance era 4x where it is set on a, uh, um, a real map, set up in Europe or wherever, and in that, like, overworld, um, have your towns, build up your units, send your armies out across the world, hex tiles, and conquer the place. It is a colonize the world, discover and colonize the world, so I guess we'll be building towns as well. There you go, exploring over to the, the new world and maybe building towns as well. Uh, there is a playtest out for this one right now, um, it's coming out here 2024 some point by uh, a weedy and electric sheep games and it has that pix pixel art pixel art style forex strategy game take over the European take over will take over one of the European superpowers that existed during the age of discovery and Renaissance lead them to imperialism colonize the world allocate your labor force monopolize markets fight tactical battles survive the age of imperialism there you go. I'm looking forward to this one. That's for sure. This is this is my style. Um, a little bit of a left turn for the um, the empire building that this this is supposed to be all themed after, but it's um, it's large and multi city building, elaborate lands. This is a little more on the like relaxing side. You know, we've been like conquering and storming across the world and all pillaging and all that. Well, now let's take just take it easy. Four X. More in the lines of like a city builder, but it's like a multi city builder, four um, X city builder, and a puzzle game where where um, sort of in that like not dwarf romantic, but that kind of theme where it's like more casual. Build up your town, put your walls in there, get your resources, build multiple towns. Eventually, uh, there is yeah, there has been a demo out for this one, um, and the reason I did add it to the list is because on the Steam page it does mention down here. Um, Somewhere, somewhere. Op there you go. Optional military. Eh, you know? So, build your settlements, research techs, optimize your settlements, build big monuments. Maybe a little more on the city builder side of things, but... Well, they put it in the Forex category, so why why can't I? Alright. Remember that left turn we took? Let's take it again. We're going to check out Feudums today. Well, next. This one is lead your kingdom, your vassals, and your noble house in turbulent times. This is multiplayer. This is a, a multiplayer only, uh, um, like tick-based thing, uh, where by by Calamona Studios, um, a multiplayer strategy, hex-based, build your town. You can build multiple towns, and see so you're playing a um, a grand strategy game, medieval grand strategy game, but it is all multiplayer, and and they they emphasize like 15 times in here. No pay to win, no um, yeah, yeah, no no pay to win elements, no loot boxes, completely free. That sort of a thing. Uh, they do have a demo going on right now, and they've been asking for a long time for like um, player input for this one as well. But um, you come in. I, I got in here for a little bit, um, and you like you set up your coat of arms and you set up your sort of t your town, and and it it's kind of a slow paced thing, obviously, because it's it's this um, persistent multiplayer thing. And um, uh, um, you set up like your your family dynasty, you know, and all that kind of stuff, and and slowly, very slowly, work this thing into a proper kingdom builder. Um, heavily influenced by old school strategy games like Lords of the Realm, Defender of the Crown, Crusader Kings, classic board games. So it's part um, part builder, part strategy, completely moddable. However, that. So I got in there and I made my I made my um my my um coat of arms and I didn't do much else than that, much other than that. But you can raise armies, you know, you can go to war and all that with with multiplayer. 
So, there you go. Next is Folk. Folk emerging. And this is another one of those Stone Age, nomadic Stone Age things, like when we saw that before. This is by Curious Dynamics. Look at them hexes. Uh, deeply simulated characters, cultures, and ecosystems. Um, this, this one is, is focusing on the, I think, the, the, the families part of this one. Uh, part of this sort of Stone Age time. 4X strategy game with uh, deeply simulated characters, cultures, and ecosystems. And... You know, you grow your tribe. Nomadic hunter-gatherers is what we're playing here. Before agriculture and settlements. And I was trying to look at something. I had something mentioned. Listen to it here. I was going to look for it. I don't see it. Um, there we go. Tech tree spanning 3.5 million years ago to 20,000 BC. So this is like old-timey. Sort of um, nomadic prehistoric thing. And, oh yeah, yeah, so uh, I guess I showed in the video there. So you build your town, and then it, and then it goes into like a, a turn-based um, uh, combat mode. I don't know if I showed it in there somewhere. Do we see it? Um, there. And so you actually fight it out in that sort of a, that sort of a map. A sort of overworld, and then, and then, a, and then a, a zoom in. And everyone has, a, like all your people have names, and so I guess it's sort of a focus on your people for this one. Anyway, there is Folk Emerging coming out 2024. All right, next up, we we have ants. Underfoot Queens, an ant-themed 4X. Lead your species across generations. Explore, forage for food, expand your colony. So uh, this is by El Villano. Um, Turn-based ant kingdom. Build your kingdom, bu build your ants up. Uh, I think there's like a tech tree in there as well, it mentioned, and also making sure you get your food. And So you're building not only your underground um, ant kingdom, place, ant home, ant colony, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, you're also going above above world and fighting and dealing with aphids or whatever. Dealing with carbohydrates, proteins, water, building building materials to build your colony up, manage your colony and I guess over generations. And it looks like they're having a little bit of a roguelite sort of thing in here where um, you're going to die how will, lead your, how will you lead your colony before it succumbs? Will you risk another year or reproduce as soon as possible to avoid uncertain doom? Uh, when you lose your game, you get achievements and un unlock new species to come back and, and do some more um, more ant things, I suppose. Yeah, look at them hexes. Lots of hexes today. Ants. To yield. This is by Billion Worlds. It is a turn-based, hex-based strategy game. A very, like, um... Uh, uh, I'd say like a like a, a sieve light, if you want to think of it that way, where it's a little bit lighter strategy. I uh, I played a demo of this one, and this one was very similar to me to Polytopia. If you're familiar with the phone game Polytopia, where it's that same sort of sieve style. You're gonna go out, you're gonna build up towns, and you create your units and send your unit. You know, it's that sort of maybe like a, a step above what Polytopia is. If you're familiar with that one, um, this one's coming out sometime this year. Actually, sometime soon. It just says. And, um, yeah, simple to learn, compact 4X. That probably sums it up pretty well. It's a real, real simple game to learn. You, you build your warrior, you build your archer, you stomp across the world. You need more lumber, you, you build a lumber mill. Um, that gives you points to build more units. And um, this is set in, like, the year is 401 AD. So, Rome is starting to dwindle, I suppose. And, um, and multiplayer. And this one's coming out at some point. There is a demo out... As we speak, hexes, hex space. Look at that. But you go out, settle your towns, build up new places. I guess you're gonna have a campaign in there at some point. Okay, next up, we're heading over to Songs of Silence. Now this one is is by Chimera Enter Entertainment. There is a demo for this one. Um, are you gonna play a video? Thanks. Um. <laughs> Interesting art style, fantastic art style on this guy. Uh, I'm gonna say it's it's in that um, this, this is kind of like balancing a couple different ways. So you're building a kingdom, you know, that's is the theme of the day. Um, but also, it has this auto battler style of combat, which is showing right now. And you've get like you almost get like cards, and during combat you can throw these cards out. So you're almost like a um, you're sort of intervening a little bit within within the combat. And it's a very quick-paced 
empire builder turn-based kingdom management style things. So you're dealing with that on the side, but you're mostly focusing on moving your units and your armies across the map. You position where they are on the battlefield, and then you just sort of send them into the battle. And there they go right there. And this it, 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 it does its thing, and then you got those cars, but you can like send out blasts or whatever, like that's doing there. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting um, take on the, um, on the genre. Very f much quicker paced um for the uh, the genre and i think someone one of the it's a review here um part battle for wesnoth yeah i suppose so yeah neat art style but there we go there is uh songs of silence coming out quarter two 2024 yeah it looks real pretty look at that you get those cards. You can use those cards in combat, like it's showing there. And there's a, there's a big combat. Fantasy style, of course. Mm, plant people. All right, enough plants. Let's go sci-fi. I clicked the wrong button. Sci-fi. This is by Oxymoron Games. It is Heroes of Might and Magic sci-fi style. That sums it up. <laughs> This is, uh, again, my Oxymoron games coming out uh, sometime soon. I play, I got a demo of the video of this one. Um, it's well done. I'm not trying to, like, say anything negative about it. It's well a well done Heroes of Might and Magic sci-fi style. Turn-based strategy game. You have a um, this top-down uh, battle or uh, overworld. You conquer the kingdoms. You send your units into battle just like that. Those are hexes. Um, and, and, and then turn-based combat style set in uh what's that the siren star system so yeah start with one castle slowly work your way up build build uh, armies conquer the place um conquer gold mines and whatever else to try to get resources into your into your capital so that you can build more units very very colorful nice art style on this one as well um coming out soon we go. and i have a video of this of the demo of this one All right, so next up we're going to the uh, the Gilded Destiny. This one is a grand strategy game, historical grand strategy game by Aquila Genesis and published by Aquila Interactive. It is set in the era of the Industrial Revolution. This is the one I think doesn't show actually any gameplay. It just shows, yeah. Let me show you some pictures. Map game. Um, it's set sort of, well, it's set in the Industrial Revolution. You're going to choose one of... It says it in here somewhere, how many we, we can choose from. But and, and many, many different people, kingdoms, uh, king, uh, kingdoms, um, countries, and work your way up conquering the place. Um, focusing mostly on um, going from sort of this ag agrarian style to, to the Industrial Revolution and, and trying to transform your, your, your country. Um, this sort of leading from the throne style of thing. And it also mentions one million hexes. So as you build your towns up, you are building up up the hexes. And it, I don't think it shows it here, but it, maybe it's in the video. It shows like a zoom out of all them hexes in the game. Um, I wanted to show, it says, somewhere it says in how many different countries you can play. I thought it did. I might be getting confused with a different one. But... Um, Transform, take the home of your choice, country of your choice, transform it from a backward agrarian society to an industrial powerhouse. Coming out 2024. Gilded Destiny. King's Orders. This is by Afterlife and Games Operators. Uh, it is a, a simplified historical game. And the way, the uh, what makes this one unique. Turn-based, but it's all focused on um, orders. Hence the name, where you're sitting in the throne, you want to move your general over to this town to attack it, you got to write him a letter, and you got to send that letter out. And so your your uh, your horse dude needs to go over there to the general, or to the general, the commander of the army, and tell him to go conquer the city. And he's going to come back and say, general says okay. And so the, the whole game is focused around these, these um, well, the orders, and the um, intercepting those, and the diplomacy part of that, and the time it takes to actually move an army around because you're just sitting in the throne trying to deal with um, 
hoping that your messengers get there, hoping they don't get intercepted, hoping you're getting the correct orders out there, and um, trying to conquer places with that. So, um, it is also, I think it's all, actually, you know what? It's not only in uh, Europe, I was going to say that, but there's actually different maps out there in the game. And yeah, and delegating is a thing because you you will have your capital, but you can you can hire your generals and put them in place. In some, you take a city, you put your general in place to to manage that city because you want to build a barracks in town. You gotta you gotta write a letter. Uh, these are you don't actually write the letter; they're like pre written for you. But you click the button to write a letter. Uh, you want to go build a lumber mill. You want to build a mine. Write a letter. Uh, you want to raise the taxes. You write a letter. And so it's it's medieval logistics. Yeah, that's that's the game by uh, Afterlife and Games Operators coming out to be announced. But um, I think it's coming out soon because I I have it. And I I did a video on this um, not too long ago. There you go. There's some other maps. So And they're sort of set different different time periods here. So they go. And then there's all your there's all your letters coming in. Um, and there's all the different orders that you can you can give out. Yeah, interesting. Uh, interesting take on the um, on the map game genre. You don't want your generals getting ambitions of their own. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember if that is in there, but I'm sure sure it is. It must be. All right. Espionocracy, <laughs> uh, espionage grand strategy game. Lead one of seventy four playable countries. Ex Vivo Studios, published by Hooded Horse. Why can't you show me some gameplay in the video? We'll look at pictures. Uh, so we're going to choose a, choose a country, and and it's, you know, you're running the country from from the secrets. And you are, uh, this is set just after, just after World War II. Um, you are going to lead a country's, one of those 74 countries, intelligence agencies. And whether you choose, whether your chosen nation loses a war, suffers a coup, or has a change of leadership due to foreign actions, your agency remains resolute. So you're going to, to uh, you know, spy your way through uh, through the game here in the uh, mid 20th century. 24 different types of operations. Install operatives in Ford agencies. Use propaganda to sp spread ideologies. Perform assassinations. The Renaissance Kingdom Wars. The year is 1510. This is uh, this is one of those grand strategy, but leaning heavily on the RTS. Uh, of the game where you're going to have your towns you build your towns up but that's like a small part of the game and then it goes into that massive combat RTS style you play as one of a hundred characters um, across medieval Europe Africa and the Middle East you start as a landless mercenary captain there you go, it says it right there um, you slowly work your way up to having a town, having a village maybe the lord will give you a, will give you a village, you take care of your village you do your little things dabbling up your village still mostly rts style eventually you work your way up into being the king maybe eventually you work your way up to being the emperor and then you can play proper grand strategy managing multiple towns all that kind of a thing so it's uh it's grand is the emphasis on grand strategy of this one with a heavy dose of rts and conquer the place um giant armies Storming across castles and all that. I am intrigued by the just the scale of this. This is by Reverie World Studios, coming out March twentieth, twenty twenty four, and um, he likes that bird. Let me look at some pictures here. So yeah, there you go. So you know you're you're kind of sort of managing your town, but mostly you are focusing on that, the 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 big uh, armies, and eventually storming across the place. Yeah, look at that. Coming out very soon. All right, so there was Ren Renaissance Kingdom Wars. And now, we're to the grand finale. Birth of Cultures. This is a f historical 4X game. This one takes place over the last 60,000 years of human evolution. And so this one starts... Play video. Uh, this one is, is starting... A long, long time ago. By Code Arts, published by Camlin Games. You're building multiple towns, but it's set, you know, forever ago. Up to, um, starting in the Ice Age, 60,000 BC, up to the, um, uh, up until 
the era of great ancient empires and the fall of the Western Roman Empire. And that's where you where it ends there. So, um, and it uh, it seems like a big focus on this one is going to be the like climate simulation, dynamic environment systems. The world will change progressively as time goes by. Sixty thousand years—that's a long time. So things are going to change, and so you got to survive those those changes. All factors of terrain, like height and biome, will have a tactical weight. Control every aspect of your army and their movements. This is, by Code Arts, Camlin Games, coming out 2020. No, no, coming out soon. We don't know when it's coming out. But yeah, so you'll build your town, you'll build multiple towns. Look at them hexes. We had to end on a, on a good hex-based game. And there we go. There is my list of, I think I had 25, I think that's what that list was, of upcoming empire-building strategy games. 4X... Grand strategy, that that sort of uh, group of uh, genre of of strategy games. So if you are a uh, a channel supporter, this is the first of the month, mostly. Thank you very much. Whether you are a, a Twitch subscriber or a Patreon patron or a YouTube member, thank you very much. And as a thank you, you are thrown into the death match here to conquer Europe. So this is sort of like the um, um, monthly-ish um, thank you to the folks that support me over the years. Months, years, uh, almost decade <laughs> now um, of, uh, of me doing this. So, we'll let them battle it out. Yeah, 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 I know. It's leap day, but that's close enough. So it looks like Jeff is taken over the place. Jeff's, Jeff with 400 stars. If you haven't seen Galimulator before, um, it's a simulation game. Uh, came out a while ago, actually. Um, but every every player, which is a country, has different different ships. They're creating ships. They're creating technologies. They're conquering all these different stars or regions uh, with those fleets. And you can like click on everything and see all the different ships. It's been a while since I've played this, so I'll, I'll show these things. There is uh, Terengen the Ambiguous, the battleship. Whose order is to patrol, patrol around, and go stomp on old Alex over there. Jeff, Jeff is conquering the place. Quick, congratulations. Well, I won't say congratulations yet. Alex is still hanging in there. Congratulations, Jeff. You are the champion of March 2024. Pat yourself on the back. Jeff is one of those who's been around for nearly a decade. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. All right, there we go. Um, there is death match for the month. Uh, there is your your uh, empire building games list of of the month. Let me know what uh, what list you want to see next month. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me here. <laughs>